What up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Gym Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, a lot of news coming out of the Marvel camp, and not so good news. Not even with the rumor that Antonio Banderas is going to be playing or voicing the role of Galactus, which, Brian, I don't know. And then Jonathan Majors, Brian, you and I had a discussion about... Uh, the situation there and it's just seemingly gotten worse and the name john boyega keeps popping up guardians of the galaxy 3 guardians of the galaxy 3 um brian i haven't been hearing anybody really talking about it this just isn't enough hype surrounding guardians of the galaxy 3 brian and i don't know what you think of of because uh, it's coming out next week i had to ask you when this movie comes out usually i know and i already have my tickets but i haven't bought it because i haven't i, I don't know brian not a lot of good things happening for the mcu first up brian with this rumor that antonio banderas is going to possibly voice galactus what were what were your what was your reaction to this rumor i had my own possible cast that i think made sense antonio banderas is way out of left field and yet another example of because brian kevin foggy has to okay this this is him just going into the well into the the well of celebrities that he knows has access to and giving these roles brian what are your thoughts on this possible uh role for Antonio banderas voicing galactus I have several questions. I it 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 doesn't necessarily excite me. Um, I think the voice of Galactus is definitely an important part of how we perceive the character, and Antonio Banderas certainly has a distinctive voice. It certainly is not one I would imagine that or associate with my perception of what Galactus would sound like. So yeah. unless he's got a different voice up his sleeve than the one we're used to hearing or the one we most recently heard in Puss in Boots, The Last <laughs> Wish, then I feel like I don't know about this. And then my second question, which I'll kick back over to you, is now you're saying voicing. Do we know it's only voicing or is there a, you know, kind of Josh Brolin, Thanos motion capture potential and they kind of just change the size? So Obviously, Antonio Banderas is a fairly small actor. But that doesn't really mean anything if you're going to use him to motion capture and then kind of expand um, Galactus into his more sort of behemoth size. But are, do we know it's voice only or could he be doing some physical work? It's too? possibly that he may be doing both, Brian, because I could possibly see him, under, see him under that mask. And I'm thinking that it's possible that they want his voice to seemingly feel not familiar to us in regards to the way he speaks. My first thought was he, Galactus would be a very deep voice character. And Antonio Banderas has never really been that, um, more of a suave voice character. Yeah. So um, yeah, it, it's well, obviously this is not confirmed, but it was, it, it was, I think I had this similar reaction to you, which is like, it's another big name, but is that big name being slotted into a place that actually makes sense? Um, and I guess the other, you know, the other aspect, which is obvious here, which is this is adding smoke around the idea that Galactus is in fact, not only in the picture, but he is actually like a real part in this movie, which as we discussed previously, I'm not sure we're ready to have him play a major role in this initial Fantastic Four outing. No. And we also, by the way, since we're on the subject, you know, there was a second casting rumor, right? That Adam Driver was in advance talks to play Reed Richards. And now he he was one of the people that was sort of in the, the fan ether of like who could fill the role. Yes, he was. What do you think of, I mean, th th he's, he's, he's running a strange career for a guy who on the one hand seems very much like an actor, actor. Mm, yes. He does an awful lot of franchise stuff. 
That money is Star right. Wars, you know, Star Wars, even like 65, which I kind of enjoyed as like a, you know, a th- throwaway kind of um, almost B-level sci-fi action mm-hmm. movie. But then he comes back, if he, does, if he comes back to do this, what do you think about Adam Driver as, as Reed Richards? Um, Adam Driver as Reed Richards. I think Adam Driver is looking at this as a possible uh, challenge because he knows the baggage that comes with this, right? And he seems like he's up for the challenge of uh, portraying this character who hasn't had good outings. And he seems, Brian, like that sort of character that can bring that believability of intellect that Reed Richards needs to have. He is a very interesting choice. I like it because he can play this... I wouldn't say um, he has, Brian, that um, is sort of awkwardness to him um, that I think will work in, in this role. Your, your thoughts on that perspective? Yeah, I think I agree with that last that last bit. He has the nerdy, the nerd factor that I think Reed has to have. He, even on his most serious roles, there is this almost geekish element to just the way he moves and acts and uh, I think that's always been true in, in his role. So I like that aspect of it. I agree with you. He certainly has the chops to sound very scholarly and arrogant uh, at times, which I think is also necessary. I actually have a theory, if this proves to be true, because Adam Driver was also rumored to be a candidate to play Doom uh, mm-hmm. prior to this, as we know. I have a theory that it's possible he actually was talked to for both roles and did not want to do another villain role after doing Kylo Ren. Yeah. My, I suspect he would yes. prefer to be the hero or a more heroic character. No given question. The choice. My biggest concern with his casting is chemistry with Sue. That Adam Driver, like, honestly, since he was in Girls, the TV show, like, and his efforts as sort of like a romantic or sort of like in that kind of partnership, mm-hmm. they've been mixed to non-existent. Like I, I was not a huge fan of kind of the chemistry between him and Lady Gaga and House of Gucci as an example. That was almost like a caricature, but that has to work. Like him and Sue have to kind of have a have a both like a, almost like a, I don't know if it's a love hate relationship, but there has to be sort of real layers to that. Yeah. So I think who they get for that role now becomes you know just as important if Adam Driver winds up being being the choice so i don't ha- i don't hate the choice um because he- because of his talent um but i think it's still a lot of a lot of tbd and like i said if he's the choice i now feel like you almost have to build the rest of the family to really kind of be based around his his talents and his personality yeah i just don't want to be reminded of the I would say courtship of Ray and sim- and, and it'd be similar to that same vibe trying to get uh, Sue <laughs> on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear So, yeah, so yeah. Um, let's see. Let's see. Well, uh, this should be. Well, that so that's an interesting question because Adam Driver's age, he's actually probably a little bit older than I would than I would have thought they were going for for the family. Right? There were rumors they were going a little bit younger. Yeah. Adam Driver as an actor could certainly play early 30s still, but like he's he's a little older than that, I believe. So um, so that's kind of interesting. Does it mean maybe that they will then go a little older, which would I think would remove what you're worried about, which is like the Ray Ben Solo thing. Like they're pretty young. The characters are pretty young yeah. in, that, in that trilogy. So I don't think you'd see the, the young 